What is up everybody, I'm your host Sean with Paper Planes and welcome back to my Dark Souls Ultimate Walkthrough Guide. We're here at the bonfire just down below the Undead Parish. We're gonna, uh, let's see, let's use some souls up actually. Let's level up, um, uh, get vitality. Yeah, we're gonna get vitality to 20 and then we're gonna start working on our, um, intelligence. Because we'll start working on getting towards a caster style play. Caster style of play. Yeah, see, uh, one thing that I wanted to kind of bring up to you guys that's a problem with the way that I'm playing the game right now. And it's not something that you should do while you're playing your own character. You don't want to be, like, extremely diverse. Because you're just going to be a character that's kind of subpar at everything. And not good at anything. So, you want to make sure that you play a character that can be strong in at least one style of play that way you know you're not handicapping yourself while you're playing the game because there's certain enemies that I'm gonna face that like I won't have enough magic damage because I haven't put anything invested in my intelligence so at that point it's like okay why would I even want to use magic it's just uh, very weak so you have to consider how you're going to be playing. What just hit me? Something in front of me? Behind me? That was weird. I didn't even notice him swing. Okay. But, like, uh... Let me see. Where else am I going with this? Just kind of, like, babbling already. But, um... When you... Like, I've invested 20 points in dexterity and 20 points in strength. I believe that's what I've got. Yeah, so obviously I'm not a dex character and I'm not a strength character. I'm just kind of a little bit of both. So I'm not going to be able to use either one of those weapons to any real effect, but I will be able to use most of those weapons. So yeah, I'm I'm kind of good at multiple things, but then again, I'm not good at one thing in particular. So I can't deal a lot of great damage to any one type of enemy. Alright, so uh, we're going to go into this area over here. We've been here before, but now we're actually going to go into the Darkroot Garden. Let's grab that loot. And what we're going to do in this episode is clear out Everything that we want to do inside the Dark Root Garden, there's a couple items that I want to get. Um, one of them being Ferris's bow. And they've got a. Uh, there's some other cool stuff laying around there. There's also the uh, stone armor set. And there's a. Whatchamacallit? What is that thing the blacksmith use? A. Uh, God, what can I think of the damn names? One of those upgrade stones. <laughs> I will figure this shit out. <clears throat> Alright, so there's the key that we use. That's the Crest of Artorias. It costs us 20k. I'm actually human right now, so I'm probably going to get invaded. I don't want that to happen. That area is like hell with uh, getting invasions. So I'm going to make sure that I'm here. And then I'm going to kill myself. Suicide. And then we can go into the forest, or the uh, darker garden, not having to <clears throat> worry about getting invaded. Because that would be a pain in the ass right now. Oh, yeah. Alright, so there's a couple different things that uh, I want to discuss while we're in this area. There's a nice little way to farm pretty easily while you're in here. Um, sometimes I do it better than other times. But what I'm going to try to do is get these... NPCs in here that are hostile to chase me and then I'm gonna try to get them to follow me over to this area they're gonna run up these stairs and then basically drop down here and drop down another level where I'll be standing and hopefully if I do it correctly they're gonna bounce right off my head and fall to their deaths so I'm going to start sprinting around and try to get all these guys to follow me So 
Some of them are faster than others. And obviously that one has a ranged attack. So we can get this last guy over here to follow us. That would be good. Let's see if we can get everybody following like they should. Alright, let's just stand straight here. There goes one. Oh, he gave up. Come on, buddy. There goes two. Oh yeah, there's three. Alright, so we'll get some more in a second. This guy might come straight at me. It's weird how they behave. It's like they pull away and then decide to come right back. Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah! Get you some. Artificial intelligence. So smart. Alright, so one of them didn't continue, and I think it was the sorcerer. But that's okay. Oh, not the sorcerer. What do you call this guy? Oh yeah, it is the sorcerer. Come on, buddy. I just want to stab you in your back. Oh, what? Whatever. Bleed. <clears throat> okay. Now, um, let's see. Let's make sure we got all these guys over here. Yep, we did. Alright. Now, um, Alvina, this cat right here, is the leader of the Covenant, the Forest Hunter Covenant. We'll deal with her in a second. I want to clear out this area before I get into any of that complicated mess. But you see there, that was a great way to uh, farm some souls pretty quickly. Just train those enemies to follow after you. Then you hit the bonfire up there and rinse and repeat. Alright, so now we're going to get into the area where there's going to be a lot of those bushmen. So you got to be ready for that. And we'll deal with Ferris in a second. Just want to come over here. Bushman, I see you. Where's your buddy? He's way down there. Let's do this. Come on, guys. It's cool to wait for him over here. By the way, if I was still human, I would have been invaded at least twice by now. I love this weapon. It's just so fun. Oh. Let's heal up some. Now that over there is the item that we want. It should be the armor set. The eastern armor set. Yeah. Go ahead and grab this. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of cool looking. I never really wear it, but it's definitely unique. Alright, so we're going to actually head back over this direction real quick. You scared me, Bushman. I wasn't ready for you. Oh, that was weird. I saw that flame like I was getting invaded. Interesting. 
They would have thought those bush guys would have woke up while I was in the area a little bit sooner. Okay, so when we're going to find Ferris, Ferris is going to be hard for us to see. And I want to try to see if I can sneak up on them. So I'm going to be using my slumbering dragon crest ring. So now they can't hear me. Let's see if we can pull this off. So we're going to kind of wrap around here. Come in from behind Ferris. If we do things right. Should be able to see them soon. Oh, there's a knight. You bastard. That is a big sword you got there. Why isn't that working? Why don't you want to get backstabbed? Oh, I was trying to make you bleed. There we go. That was pretty bad, but whatever. Fat roll. Oh, shit. What? Is oh, yeah. That's okay. That's how I do it. That's how I do it in these parts. I get a little careless when I'm playing areas that should be easy for me. Sweet. All right. Well, uh, yeah, I'm going to show you that train technique one more time and then we'll go do the rest of that no biggie you missed me you better not god that guy's fast whoop whoop <clears throat> follow me oh shit That was some serious damage right there. Run. Whoop, whoop, whoop. No, don't you do it. Son of a bitch. He ruined everything. That sucked. <laughs> Damn sorcerer. Oh. <laughs> I was thinking about it the whole time. I'm like, <laughs> he's going to kill me the way that I usually kill him. But I didn't think he was going to move directly under me when I was falling. That was pretty sweet. 2,000 souls. Oh, yeah. Whatever. You guys can laugh all you want. I'm having fun. Kill this bastard first. Gah! You suck, bro. You suck. I'm gonna kick you. Ooh. Kick. Yes! Now you get to see the fun of kicking an enemy off to his death. That's always good times. Alright, come on, buddy. You too. I know you can s not s hear me, but now you can see me. Alright, guys. Look how fast that dude is. I'm f sprinting full speed. Right on my booty. These are the first NPCs that really like run at you full speed. Wee! Don't give up. Come back. Come back. There we go. Hello. Oh. Don't do that. How would you like to be the covenant leader of a group of bandits that all kill themselves while trying to kill the invader? That would be mighty fine. I bet that's how like Bowser feels with all his little uh, Goomba minions. It's like, damn it. Can't you kill this stupid plumber? 
one time. Oh yeah, there they are. What you looking at? You looking at me? Yeah, you looking at me, huh? Gonna get you, motherfudger. One time. Uh-oh, Ferris sees me. Ferris, you slut. Gotta be careful with Ferris. What? <laughs> oh, man. What am I doing? Alright, this is no longer a walkthrough. This is a... Uh, this is a best of fail episode. <laughs> this is crazy. Alright, I'm gonna edit the video to that spot. Alright, everybody, we're back. You see, off in the distance there is the spirit of Ferris. Ferris apparently followed me to my suicidal death. So good for her. That was very kind. Alright, now this some bitch. Hmm, I'm just gonna stand here. What do I want to do? I should change this weapon and get to like one of those real heavy backstabby types. Did I put that thing up? Did I put my big boy webs up? Where is that? Oh yeah, there we go. It's time to die. I'm right behind you, bro. I'm literally like on top of you. Fuck it. Eat it. Eat that. Oh yeah. Big boy likey. All right. So whatevs, let's get this Twin Humanities and the Black Bow of Ferris. This is my favorite bow to use. I love it. It's pretty sweet. So we'll start upgrading that so we'll have a good bow to use. Okay, now um, you guys can go through this other area here <clears throat> if you want to. It's not really a pertinent area in my opinion. There is a few things to get, but there are some really tough enemies. There's some more of those cats. Some people play the game and never actually encounter them because they avoid this area. But I will show you these places. These cats are bad news. They're pretty tough. They're really scary at first because you have no idea how to deal with them and they're super fast. I hear you, owl. Got some tree men up here. Bush people. Whoa. Look at you. You're a little late for the fun. I hear another one behind me. Wow. I didn't think it was going to follow me. Alright. You see stuff is doing a lot of damage to me. Like, I'm very squishy right now. So I should definitely consider improving my armor. God, they just keep coming. Never ending supply of bush people. But they do give you some pretty decent usable loot. Okay, so we're heading over here to this tree. Fallen tree right there. Come on, man. And you gotta kill these guys because they'll just pursue you while you're doing this level. And it'll they'll catch you at the worst possible time. Alright, so we're working our way around here. We already killed all those guys the first time. I'm gonna get backwards. Sorry about that. Once you kill one of those guys, they kind of spin you around, and then you everything looks the same in here when you're inside. All right. 
Where am I at? There's the water. Okay. Now I see. Alright, so we're back at the beginning. Now I'm going to go through Alvina's area. Once I get by that tree, tree in my way. I know it's not moving, so technically it's not in my way because I just need to learn how to walk better, but shut your mouth. How about that? Oh, door. Always in the way. Okay, so we'll talk to Alvina in a little bit. I'm going to come grab this stone armor set. I promise. We'll get to the big cats. We will. We'll get to the cats. This thing is really good. I like to use this armor set against um, the Four Kings, especially in my Soul Level 1 playthrough. It just allows me to sit up there and tank and spank those bad boys. So we're going to find some mushroom enemies over here. These are good to kill because you can farm the uh, lightning resin, the gold pine resin out here. So even though they're little babies, you always want to kill all the shrooms. And I think you can backstab them because they're considered humanoid. Damn it. They're going to run over to Mama and Papa in a second. kind of messed up. Aww. You poor little mushrooms. See, the big boys are over there. And they do some hellacious damage. I need to get off these soul arrows. They're not going to do me a whole lot of good right now. Let me see. I do have the crossbow equipped, and we'll try that against these bad boys. What do I hear that other mushroom? Oh, there they are. Give me something good. Oh, come on. Where you going? nothing. Time to kill the biggins. Still got a few little ones wandering around, but alright. Damn, you see that? All that stamina damage it takes. They hate so heavy. Oh my god! <sighs> this is the worst video I've ever made. <laughs> and I can't even like just pretend it didn't happen. Alright, I'm going to edit back to the friggin' one-shotter mushroom from hell. But first, I want to change out this spell real quick. Get my pyros on. Fireball. Fireball. Alright, cool. Alright, so uh, we're going to pick up our souls now. Of course. Actually, before I do that... I see you looking at me, you son of a biatch. Gonna get my pyromancy flame equipped. Where you at? There we go. What the? Oops, I put it there. Oh well. Double firepower.
I can kill these guys in different ways, but this is the safest way. Oh yeah. There we go. Give me that pine resin. Hit this guy up. Yes. Yes. Come at me. Fudger. Thought I was going to stun him or bleed him. I wonder how many hits it takes to bleed this guy. Come on, come on, come on. You doing the double swing, huh? Yeah. Double swing it. Nice. Alright, so I'm trying to think of the damn name of these things before I open this chest. I want to know what it is. I'm trying to remember. It's like when someone's like, hey, what's the name of that movie with that actor? And you're both sitting there and you both know what you're talking about, but you can't think of what it is. And it's just frustrating as shit. And you don't want to look it up because you want to think of it yourself. Yeah, that's what's happening right now. Alright, it's a... And this is the magic one. Uh, what is, okay, think, think in the past, I pick up the large thing, and then I pick up, it's an ember, divine ember, but it's not the divine one, it's like a magic one, I think, magic, ma enchanted, there we go, yay, I'm freaking smart again, okay, um, let's see, where else, where else do we want to look? Oh, yeah. We'll get over there in a second. Yes, we will. These are where the bad cats are. But first, I want to show you how to get the Hornet's Ring without having to fight Sif. So we can get that first. What's up, Mushroom Dudes? And I think Sif is like one of the only boss areas where you can actually enter in like, we can open this door and doesn't actually activate the boss. So, however, when you enter this area, it does send back the guy if you've got an invader. So, you are crossing through a fog gate, technically. But, this doesn't activate the boss fight when you enter in this zone. You actually have to walk in front of the gravestone ahead of us. So what we're going to do is we're going to run behind it and to the side. And I love this this area because even though the boss is huge, the arena is ginormous. So it allows you a ton of mobility and that's really key. A lot of the boss fights, if they had this kind of arena, would be a lot easier. Alright, so let's check out the Hornet Ring real quick. See what we got. There it is. Hornet Ring, one of the special rings granted to the four knights of Gwyn. The Hornet Ring belonged to the Lord's Blade, Sierran. Boost, uh, by boosting critical attacks, its wearer can annihilate foes as Sierran's dagger laid waste to Lord Gwyn's enemies. And uh, I believe Sierran is one of the NPCs introduced to us in the DLC. She is Knight Artorius' like, uh, companion, essentially. And introduces two really awesome weapons that go perfectly with the hornet ring and i actually use one of them in my legolas playthrough legolas so yeah that was fun um i, I use the hornet's ring a lot in that playthrough it's essential and it's really just a great ring in general so it's something that we can use in the future if we need to deal more crit damage so if you're using a character that parries a lot backstabs things to that nature you're definitely gonna want to have that equipped 
So yeah, we got that item. Now we're going to go check out the big cats. Once we uh, learn a little bit about them, we'll probably wrap things up. There's not a whole lot more left in here, besides me dying a lot more. Because that's always fun and entertaining. Oh, there's one of them. Meow, meow. I see you, kitten cat. Look at that. That's scary. That beast. There's three of them. And they will whoop some booty. You gotta be careful. I never really fight these guys. It's so rare that I fight them, so... It's gonna be interesting. I should probably kill these guys. Ugh. Whatever. Get over here! I just don't like the fact that they're there and in my way. Nice. All right, cat. Where you at? Meow, meow. Got some fancy feast. Ooh, there you are. You ugly mug. Oh, shit. Whoa! <laughs> I wasn't targeting you correctly. Yeah. You're not going to draw me out in there. There's other ones. I know better than that. But I'll still probably do it. What the fudge? I can't even block that. Look at that porcupine. I guess I just need to dodge. No. Stop it. Stop it. Ooh, bleed that. One more. Oh, one more. One more. Uh, nice. Whoa, shit! <laughs> oh, okay, this is fucked. I'm getting out of here. Oh, shit. Come on. Get away. Get away from me, you friggin' cats. Damn, Garfield's revenge right there. Two of them were on me like white on rice. That was crazy. Look at these guys just chilling over there. I see you. I see you, peeps. Hmm. Let's try out something else. Black Bow of Ferris. Let's try you out. What? What am I doing? Why did I put that in that hand? You need to put it in the left hand. That was stupid. Stupid is as stupid does. Alright, there we go. Let's try you out. Whoa! These guys are smart. Holy shit. <laughs> that is awesome. I'm glad you're closer now, though. I can do some damage. No, come back! Ugh. They're so agile, it's crazy. I mean, there's no getting away from those things if they're chasing you. They move way faster than you can move. Honestly, it's really not worth fighting them, but just because I'm kind of doing everything in this game with this walkthrough, I want to show you guys these, these enemies. They're just so not worth the effort. I would definitely go down there and melee them if there was one at a time. But these two teams seem to be tied together. They're like best friends. Damn it. I'm afraid to target it because I'll probably end up falling down there. Cats. Oh, nice. Whoa. 
Do your thing. Damn it. That guy sucks. He totally tricked me. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm debating just going down there and trying to speed up this process, but I think I'm just going to get smushed. Screw it. Let's try it. You guys want to see me get smushed anyways. Please go down there. It would be so smart. Hmm. Oh, look at you. You're like, hey, he's going into his inventory. Let's sneak up on him. Those were way faster. Let's put this on. Let's see if this helps. Get some mode damage in there. Oh, yeah. What now, buddy? What now, kitten cat? Come on. Just you. Don't bring your friend. Just you, please. Just you. No. No. Whoop. Oh, come on! I gotta get out of here. <laughs> I didn't trust that thing. No! It's too fast. It's crazy. Come on! Yeah! That's right, Biatch. You're next. Oh! <laughs> that was crazy. Womp, womp. Chomp. Oh, what are you doing there? That looks pretty funky. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. That's freaking right. Let's see what this note said. Note's probably like, get the fuck out of here. I did it. We did it. Yeah. All right. So, um, yeah, <laughs> that was fun. That was actually pretty entertaining for me. I don't know about you, but I enjoyed that. So here we are, we're at this bridge, and you're thinking, what the funk is that? Tough enemy ahead. Maybe tough enemy behind, but that's what they mean. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna show you this ladder here. Hey, look, stuff to loot, all right. We'll run over here. Nice. That warrior was brave. And we can crawl around this side. And there's another bridge here. Run across that. And here is the last ladder. And this takes you down into the lake where we killed the Hydra. So this is the dark root basin down below here. I'm just kind of showing you how that connects, how these things are intertwined. And it's uh, the ladder is right behind the waterfall after you defeat the Hydra. I mean, you can get to it without killing the Hydra, but I totally recommend killing the Hydra first. Man, every time I navigate around that, it makes me nervous. I just feel like I'm gonna get one. Of, I feel like I'm gonna get one of those failed deaths that everybody loves so much. Okay, so uh, here we are back in this area and we're just gonna run run back to the Heze, the fire, bonfire. That's my house. 
Because that is the closest thing to a house we have in this game. Um, how else can we go? Yeah. We gotta go back around, I think. Sorry, Mushroom. Had to do it. You just looked so killable. And... You see all these little dudes over here. I don't think we can get back there. Yeah. It's just this ginormous gap. We have to go back through the area where Alvina is. So I'm going to show you all about Alvina real quick. Almost forgot. Just kidding. I didn't almost forget. But I almost had it set up into a second episode there. But why do that? Why not just do it all at once? Okay, so here she is. Here is our main hoe. I just killed all your peeps, but let's talk anyways. So she is the covenant leader of the forest hunters, and we're going to talk to her. Um, you can decide to join her covenant, and what that does is it enables you to invade people that are in human form wandering this area and by do, by equipping the ring that she gives you it'll summon you to defend the forest and uh, the only reason that I like to do this is because I like to get access to the vendor in their uh, in their covenant and we're gonna show you talk about that some more in a second so let's go ahead and start the dialogue and her dialogue is ridiculous because you hear this like hilarious voice acting going on so I'm gonna skip through that or else I'll be laughing my ass off through the rest of the playthroughs. Is it not thou that cut my electro have <laughs> I can still hear it. Meow 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 meow. Meow 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 for like ever. It never stops. It's crazy. Say yes. Well indeed I'm I come what does oh yeah. Say yes. I and now Yes, one more time. Oh, yeah, baby. That's right. And here. So we get the Cat Covenant ring. If thou wearest. Yes, 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 yes. She loves to talk, by the way. Almost as much as me. We'll talk one more time. Alright, so now I'm going to show you what we got. Our cool new loot. Where you at, Cat Ring? There you are. Answer Alvina's Summoning. The Cat Covenant Ring. Ring granted to those bound by the Forest Hunter Covenant. Answer Alvina's Summoning. The White Cat Alvina speaks a human tongue and has lived since the early age of fire. Alvina was a trusted friend of Knight Artorius and the Great Wolf Sif. Alright, so uh, this basically, like I said, if you equip this ring and there is a uh, person that's not in this covenant that's in human form and they're in this area, you will be summoned to defend the forest. And this is a great area for PvP and all that kind of stuff. So uh, you guys will enjoy that part um, of the game for sure. It's, it's really one of the few times where people who aren't um, used to playing PvP get their first experience uh, playing against other players. So this is really fun and entertaining way. It's a good change of pace and you guys should definitely do it. Now we're going to see... New guy out here. It's like, what's up, buddy? Here's somebody we can talk to. Last teach you as is, except fight only. That's a don't work. Great. All right, and this guy's name is Shiva of the East, and he's got some really good stuff that we can get from him as a vendor. But you have to do a couple things before that prerequisites. Basically, um, we're going to have to kill three invaders in this forest um, also I want to make sure that you guys understand next time you come through this area those NPCs that we killed by uh, soul farming earlier they're going to be friendly now so they're not going to attack you which means do not attack them because if you do you'll be committing sin against your covenant and you'll be kicked out so what we're going to do is kill three uh, three forest invaders and then we this will send him down to blight town basically or he'll still be here but when we go down to blight town then we'll see him there and that's where he becomes a merchant 
And also, he's got this sidekick behind him here who you can't really see unless you try to look for him. I just call this guy Ninja. And uh, so we're going to get some really cool stuff from them, and uh, we'll do more about that soon. But I just wanted to show you guys all about that. All right, so I'm going to head back to the bonfire. Oh yeah, heading back, heading back. And uh, the next episode, we're going to be doing some PvP. You guys get to see me going against some chumps. Just kidding, they're probably better than me. Uh, because of the way we've designed this character, I'm really worried about our success rate in PvP. Um, we'll be... Let's see what level we are. Yeah, we're almost level 40. And uh, so we're going to be going against people that are basically set up statistically to be good in their class most likely I mean we'll see we could get lucky we could also get lucky by invading or by being summoned with another defender of the forest together so it could be two on one and that's always sweet as well and we'll probably face some hackers so yay um, but yeah that'll be fun that should be an interesting episode coming up so keep an eye out for that in episode number 16. All right, everybody, thanks for checking it out. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and take it easy. I'll see you next time. Thanks for checking out my video. If you enjoyed it, click the like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel and social media accounts to keep current with Paper Planes updates. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.